Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can hook up Stripe as a payment method to your Xero invoices. You can do this so that your customers can pay you more directly for your invoices, such as using credit or debit cards or Google Pay or Apple Pay. After we've set it up, we'll take a look at what an invoice looks like when you email it to your customer. And if you'd like to learn more about Xero, then please go ahead and check out the links to our courses in the description below. So let's jump into Xero now and see how this is done. Okay, so over here in Xero, what you need to do is just go to settings and payment services. Okay, and what you need to do is click on get started here for this one that says credit and debit cards powered by Stripe. So if we click on there to just get the process started, you can see here that you just get a little write up of uh, some of the fees um, that are charged by Stripe to you. And then just a little bit um, of a blurb as to what will actually happen here. So it's just saying that um, people can use credit and debit cards or digital wallets. And then the payouts take two days to appear in your bank account from the payment date. So that's when Stripe actually makes the payments to you. It could take a couple of days to actually show up in your feed in Zero. Okay, so from here, you've got a couple of options. If you don't have a Stripe account already, you can click on here and go through the process of actually signing up to Stripe and opening up an account. If you do have an account, you can click on this button here and I've got one, so I'll just click on there. Okay, so you just need to put your email address in there and then click on continue. And then I just need my Stripe password as well, like so, and now I'll just log in. Okay, now with Stripe, you can have um, more than one, I guess, account within Stripe for different businesses. I've got a couple of them here. So you just got to make sure if you've got more than one, you pick the right one. So that's the one that I want to do, the one that's chosen here. So I'll just click on connect. Okay, so now it's connected and it's just asking me which bank account I've got set up um, in Zero that I want to use for my Stripe account. So if I just click on the drop down, I've actually got a couple of them set up, but I'm just going to choose this one here. Okay, so I've already got that set up, so that's great. And I'll click on continue. Now it's also asking me here which general ledger code I want the Stripe fees to go to. So the fees that I get charged by Stripe. So if you don't have a general ledger account already set up, you can go ahead and set one up here. If you do have one set up, you can click on here, which I, I do have. Okay, and then I'll just go to the drop down, and you can see here that I've actually got one set up just for bank fees from Stripe. So if you need to set that up for yourself, you can go ahead and do it the other way. Um, you can just use the generic bank fees um, code as well if, if you like, but I've got one set up specifically for Stripe fees. So I'll just click on there and choose that one, and then click on complete setup. Okay, so now it's saying that my Stripe account is now connected to zero. A pay now button will be added to all of my invoices. So the customers can click on that button and then go ahead and pay with their debit credit card or Apple Pay, Google Pay, etc. And then it's just telling me that my first Stripe payout will take a little bit longer. Um, so obviously they just hold the money aside a little bit just to make sure that um, everything's above board. So that's fine. Um, that's all good. I can just click on got it. And here we are. So now I have Stripe set up as a payment service. Um, I've got it connected to a particular branding theme, which is the look and feel of an invoice. So I'll show you that in a minute. And then over here, we also have this edit button that you can click on. And there's a few different things that you can look at in here. So you can remove it if you want, or you can go to service details. And you can see in here, that you um, can actually just change some of the things that you set up. So that's the payment account or the, the bank feed in zero that the money's gonna go to. So you can change that if you need to. Um, you've also got the one that you did for the Stripe um, bank fees or bank charges. So you can change that if you need to. There's also this automate my fees toggle here. So that's toggled on. If you turn it off, you can see that the fees aren't automated. It won't actually separate out the fees and put them into that particular um, general ledger code. 
So I highly recommend that you use this. So when you go through your bank reconciliation process, you can reconcile your Stripe fees separately as separate transactions. All right, so down here, you've also got a toggle to charge your customers a card processing fee. So if you want to charge your customers a fee on top of the value of the invoice, you can do that. You can toggle this on and put in a percentage. So I'm not going to run through this in this video, um, but that's an option that you've got there. And then down here, you've also got this thing for credit card logos to appear on your invoice. So it's got Visa and MasterCard are assumed. And then down here, it's, it's check the box for American Express. So um, we do have American Express here in Australia, but we don't have Discover and we don't have JCB Bank. And I'm not sure about diners. So it's uncheck those for the moment. But if you want any of these checked or if in your own country, um, you've got different options there, just go ahead and check those. But that that's just to show the logos um, on your invoice. So um, you can just choose the ones that you want there. So I'll click on um, save. Okay, so now we've actually um, gone ahead and um, added that as a payment service. So what I'll do next, I'll just duplicate the screen and we'll go into organization settings and we're going to go into invoice settings. Okay, and we'll just go into this um, branding theme here. So if you want to create a new branding theme, which is the look and feel of your invoice, you can go ahead and click on there and do a new one. But I'll just have a look at this one that I've got here and click on edit. Okay, and you can see down here in the payment services um, selected down here, we've got Stripe. So there's a little drop down menu there, we've got Stripe. Um, so once you've hooked that up, just make sure you've got Stripe in here. It did automatically add that for us. And then, like I said, if you create any other branding themes and you want to add Stripe as a payment service, you may need to come in and actually manually select it. So you might have a few different kinds of invoices that you send out. So just make sure you've got Stripe enabled. All right, so from there, let's just go to invoices and I'll just create a new invoice. Okay, now this is just going to be basically a fake invoice. So I'll just put any old details in. Okay, so I've just created an invoice, just a pretend invoice um, to Amazon, and we're just going to charge them for some consulting for um, $100. Um, and up here, you can see this online payments box here. If we click on that, you can see that we've got credit and debit card payments enabled. With Stripe. We can also um, click on PayPal if we want because I've got that hooked up as well. But for this particular video, we just want to see Stripe. So we can just click on save. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually approve it and email it. Okay, so I'm just going to email it to myself. And then we'll go and have a look at it. Okay, and this is how it comes through to the customer's um, inbox. And if they click on the pay now button, you can see there that it's it's opened up the invoice online and it's also um, brought up this little um, pop up here for credit or debit card payment. And it's also put Google Pay as an option there. So this is powered by Stripe. And if they go ahead and click on that, they can go ahead and just pay the invoice directly by credit or debit card or, or Google Pay. And then the payment will show up in your Stripe feed. If they don't want to pay it like that, they want to pay it a different way, they can just simply close that and go through whatever process they go through to pay the invoice. Okay, so that's how you can hook up Stripe as a payment method and attach it to your invoices. And so your customers can pay you directly into your Stripe feed um, for the invoices that you send to them.